Hey team, welcome to HGDC. Today's vlog is a catch up vlog. I've put together all of the unseen footage from November 2023. It covers a load of what was going on in that month, which led to the tears that you saw in the previous vlogs. And a little bit after it, I've got loads of stuff for my Black Friday and yeah, just this vlog does the most when it comes to uh, explaining a little bit of what had been going on, like the backstory. Yeah, this is the backstory. And it takes you all the way through to November, and then I will see you at the very end for some of my thoughts and reflections. Good morning. It is Sunday, the 5th of November. Uh, Brad has just taken Teddy for a very quick walk. Teddy loves, loves, loves to be outside. Like, as soon as you say, let's put our warm clothes on, that boy is excited. And um, we want to just get rid of some of his energy because we are about to go get take him to be checked out at the Out of Hours Doctors because his chest is concerning me and yes I know it can't be like it's a really weird one when you're a mum because he's not like dangerously ill but he still needs some medical attention um he's got an absolute awful cough he's wheezing and yeah I'm just Gonna go get him checked out just to be sure because the last few nights have been really tough. Anyway, we're gonna go get him checked out. So Brad's just quickly took him around the block and while he's doing that, I have a couple of things that I want to check out. Uh, Price-wise. Because I have two deadlines in November three that I'm working towards, maybe four. 17th of November, I am updating my person collection and I am also putting um, the planners up for pre-order. There are gonna be 25 slots for those. And then I'm also going to do, on the 24th, which is Black Friday, I'm hoping to get a sneaky pattern release out. And then, like, literally this pattern is an idea, but oh, it's, oh my gosh, I can't wait to see it come together. And then the um, other thing that I'm doing is, um, and then I also have a hobby collaboration that I'm working on. I need to get um, some progress on that ready, so ready to post for the deadline I've been provided with. And I also have a handmade blanket that I'm working on for Handmade by HTDC. Um, the blanket itself is largely done and I started the matching card again last night. So I'm quickly just looking at prices um, because I am going to be putting these up. None of us are sleeping very well. So it makes it harder for any of us to get better. And it's tough, I'm sure. If any of you have got children, you know it's tough when you don't feel well. But 
because of all the antibiotics, Teddy isn't really eating, which means he wants more milk, which puts more of a demand on me. And yeah, not looking for advice on his feeding. Like I'm happy with the setup, just adding the context. Yeah, feeling a bit tearful. I'm very, very drained. Brad has taken Teddy and Albie for a quick walk. Teddy's in his pram, bundled up. Um, and I am about to record for YouTube because I have committed to my schedule. All I wanna do is go get into bed. However, if I do that, like it's a fine line. I can hear some of you saying you need to rest and take care of yourself. Yes, yes I do. But also I need to get moving on these goals because the work's not going to do itself. And either way, I am going to be tired. <sighs> One of my frustrations at the moment is that because I'm not feeling well, just gone dizzy, because I'm not feeling great and because of everything going on, I'm not as disciplined as I normally am. Obviously, there's loads going on. So normally when Brad goes out, like I'd already have all the yarn room tidied. I would have done it last night and it would be set up. So I'd just come in and record. But instead, it looks like this. <sighs> it makes it feel a bit like a mountain. Come on then, Bowie. Come on then, you can do this. Come on, come on. The last few months have been more intense than the lead up to my collection. Oh. In like two and a half months, we've had three, maybe four out of hours doctor visits with Teddy, one of them via ambulance, two allergic reactions, we're on the second lot of antibiotics. <sighs> I'm just so tired. This is that full circle moment. You've seen this vlog. This is my pause vlog, the break. I need a break. So I've shown a little bit that was leading up to that in the month of November and now we're going to go past that and see how the rest of the month finished out. I've already had a cry this morning. I feel like I'm just not managing, not coping, failing at everything, can't, can't keep my stuff together to just do what it is that I need to do. Like the house is a mess, it's filthy, it needs cleaning, I need to tidy up. I need a shower, I need to wash my hair. I've got the collection update to do and all of the admin work that goes with that. Like I actually need to sit down, update the pattern to go through the test of feedback. I need to sort out the costings for the planners that I'm launching to make sure that the costs that I have in mind I actually do work out financially and I'm not going to leave myself short. I've got new bookmarks and thank you cards to design to go along with this limited edition run. I have got a pattern to finish writing up. I have got a vlog that needs editing. Like, it's just... And as I said, most of this is just accumulated over the last couple of months. I met up with a friend yesterday and I was just like, I'd seriously been contemplating just stopping HGDC altogether because just the... The sheer amount of like, discipline that I have to have to keep this going and then there's just days and days and days where I can't 
commit to it and that then equates to not marketing my products which means there's no real income coming from it which means it's just massively backsliding into hobby territory and no hobby should cause this amount of pressure and stress and so then I just keep thinking should I just stop and feel like everyone's just watching me struggle rather than help I know most of all I just feel stuck and that's just such a lousy feeling I need little things to look forward to and enjoy as well I feel like my business is fading even though it's not it is really growing but in the mid midst of it now it feels like it's fading and feel like I'm losing myself then I get mad at myself because I'm like why am I designing more patterns and putting them out there because I'm just putting extra work on my to-do list I do not need extra work right now like what are you doing I love it. I love it already. Mm. The only thing I've realised is I put the neon next to the orange. And I think I should have moved them about a bit, but I love it. Mm. Ooh, glimmer. Snazzy, snazzy. Then do another one, I'm going to open it. Go. Woo! It's November the 28th today. And... Is it the 28th? It's the 28th. Uh, the month has gone so fast. So, so fast. I rearranged the yarn room earlier in the month. I still have so much stuff everywhere. But you know what? I think that's just part and parcel of being a creative that my brain runs at so many miles a minute and there's so many projects going on plus family life that there's always just going to be a lot of stuff everywhere. Mm. So yeah. I don't know. Oh, I've just noticed the towel. Brad, this is not where we hang towels, darling. Me's a Brad. Brad, I'm moving the yarn room around so that we can't see any laundry in the yarn room when I'm, when I'm recording. Brad. Okay, Bowie, I will leave my towel where we can see it, not on the radiator that you have just cleared. <sighs> oh my gosh, why can I not unlock my Mac? I know that's the correct password. What do you mean it's not the correct password? And why didn't my watch unlock it? All right, we're shutting down. Shut this down. Why? I have a limited time. Why can you not just work for me? Work for me. I just entered that password like eight times. And it was like, no, wrong password. I need to restart. And then I put it in that time. It's like, fine. And I know I was spelling it correctly. <sighs> Shall we chat? Um, let's talk about Black Friday. Black Friday. I learned a lot from this Black Friday. I ran a series of offers. Um, honestly, like the epiphanies I've had are just so, so simple. It like, you know, when you look back and you think, oh, of course. But in the thick of it, no. 
I ran a series of offers. I had a new pattern release, Glimmer, and I had that on like a sliding percentage. So on the Friday, the Saturday, the Sunday, there was different codes. It was 30%, 20%, 10%, depending on which day you caught it. I also had 50% off my entire shop, apart from the planners, the latest collection and Glimmer. Um, I will say I'm not here to encourage people to spend money that they don't have that is that is not what i'm about and that's why i do think that's where consumerism has an issue because it's so easy to put things on finance and all of that but that isn't what i'm here to talk about intentional purchases that are saving you money especially when you run them through cashback apps especially when you know that your favorite influencers are getting commission from it and all those sorts of things that's what i'm about and i decided to run a black friday sale and i decided really last minute like a couple of weeks before and in my brain i was like right i'm gonna run i'm gonna release a new pattern and that will get loads of interest and i on reflection over the last weekend have realised that I went about Black Friday completely in the wrong, like the wrong direction, the wrong mindset. Next year, I am going to do it so, so differently. For a start, Black Friday is not about putting out new products for people to go crazy over. Black Friday is about people get scooping up a crazy discount. Black Friday on the business side of things is about moving stock on and it's also about just getting that boom of income um after a slow summer especially and i saw a few companies that did this really really well and gave me a lot of food for thought basically next year what i should have done is done a big sale on the collection and done a big sale on the planners and reduced the amount of work that i created for myself i'm really focused on the collection because that's why i did all of this so that i had a big asset to always revert to and sell yeah i feel like i really really missed a trick there i haven't done that i've decided not to do that at the at the time because i felt that because it was still so new i, I didn't want to do a discount and that i didn't because i'd done an update like the week before it didn't feel right to then run a big sale when people had just bought it this time next year i will have two collections out and potentially i might be able to bundle up some of my previous patterns as well so yeah that's given me a lot of food for thought rather than trying to create more 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 i should really focus on what i've got and that's why i created the collection one thing that i felt with black friday is that i was really really pushing and it didn't feel it didn't have that ease it didn't have that flow that i wanted and it's because i was forcing it and i wasn't focusing on the right deals oh that's really 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 painful i've just logged into etsy and it says four shoppers have left items in their carts in the last 90 days which adds up to 175 pound i decided to list the pattern the patterns the planners on etsy again because of the shipping and i'm not mad about it however it just really highlights the um the differences between shopify on shopify i could send out emails to these people and like let them know that they've left something behind and how long they've got left <sighs> yeah it doesn't matter it doesn't matter i just things will be different the next time round. but if i hadn't done this i wouldn't have learned I've put my shop on vacation mode. We are going to make a little list of planners. I feel really fearful about planners. That's something else that I really am going to have to address. I'm scared of planners. I am scared of planners. Right. So today I'm going to make a list of my planner orders so i can figure out numbers i have some changes i want to make to the planners before i get them ordered as well um so i'm going to go through those get them sorted and then i am going to design the new bookmark that i want to do 
and then get that sent off for so that they can be posted out next. In the next couple of weeks, I want to get everything done and out before my birthday because sort of from my birthday onwards is when is as a family sort of stop for Christmas. Brad is off from my birthday until the new year. So yeah. <laughs> oh, I've just seen Lexi put cannot wait to use this. You're an angel to the community. The crochet community, I swear. Oh got a screenshot that that's so cute. Mm. Sonia got Pass and Planner and and the Granny Square collection, the I Heart Granny Square collection. Oh my god. Sabrina has got a desk pad, my bestest year yet planner and the I Heart Granny Square collection. Oh my gosh. And then Lou has bought the oh my gosh, the bestest year yet and the desk pad. Then Louise R has got my bestest year yet and ah oh, we've got Teresa and she has bought the bestest year yet and the desk pad and she put yay in the comments and then maggie maggie was the first one to order so i feel like that needs a special gift in itself doesn't it she's bought the bestest year yet planner hi it's current me 29th of may i attempted to record this in brad's car hi it's me from my new office it's the 29th of May and hopefully this video is coming out to you today on the 29th of May. Um, I just wanted to add in a little snippet at the end and the house is so noisy that like I decided that it wouldn't be a good idea to do it in there. And now I'm just like, what am I doing sat in the car? And um, I tried to sneak out and Teddy heard me and so now I'm worrying in my head that he's upset because I left the house. I also grabbed some crochet so that I could maybe weave in the ends whilst we spoke but I didn't pick up my needle or my scissors so instead you're just getting a little sneak peek of a secret project that I'm working on. I felt weird so I've just come back in the house. It's currently bath time. Brad and Teddy are in the bath. Uh, we've had, I think this is day four of poorly teddy he's picked up a bit of a cough it's nothing huge but you know when it's just snotty grotty he needs extra snuggles extra cuddles the house is a bit upside down everything's okay though it's been good to look back on this vlog and obviously it's clear to see why i was feeling overwhelmed like I had a poorly child, I was poorly myself, the house was overwhelming me, um, I was trying to do everything by myself, I had a million and one deadlines, and I feel like it was just plain to see that I've got that neurodivergent chasing the creative dopamine, but then struggling and overwhelmed with the other tasks and the deadlines, but then needing the deadlines to keep me on track, like, wow, it's a lot and it's been really painful to go through it all but I truly have learned a lot by doing by just surviving these last few months um as I said in that vlog I learned so much from Black Friday and I'm gonna do so many different things this year this month Teddy hasn't been very well but neither have I so we've both had an out of hours trip um teddy had to go to amy i went to out of hours doctors we've had medication and all of that to deal with as well and it wasn't the intensity that it was in november however i don't know if you can hear him playing i realized this morning that uh, just so many realizations I've learned so much, been through so much, and on top of that, a lot of it comes down to me. I don't even know what I'm trying to say with this, just that, wow, motherhood is a lot, and owning a business is even more on top of that. 
since November, since all of that's happened, and it wasn't just November, it was the months leading up to it. It was Brad and I getting used to being parents and it was is being getting used to our marriage, like just so many things since that point. We've come so far. And like I don't want to go into all the ins and outs of like the mental load and all of those things, whilst Brad is literally just upstairs. I need a bit of space and time to go into that, but I do want to say that he's really stepped up a lot, took a lot more on, and that has given me the headspace and the time so that in the day when I am home with Teddy, my focus is Teddy. I'm not focusing so much on the house and trying to do everything and keep everything going all by myself. And I'm not trying to keep up with chores when those two go to bed. Like we split things a lot more now. And that meant today that when we did a sick day that we literally, we converted the sofa into the sofa bed mode. We went into sofa bed mode and we sat with snacks and we watched Mary Poppins together and it just has made such a difference. Being able to do those things has made such a difference. And then my time to get work done today, like that's protected at all costs. Whereas previously something would pop up, for example, we sold our TV upstairs in the bedroom. And normally we would just schedule that for whatever day. But actually Brad's like, no, we'll do it on Friday because you've not got any work. You're not doing work on the Friday. And honestly, these things have just made the biggest, biggest difference. And I can tell, I can tell in the way I am because I've had a really poorly baby this month and we've had a lot of, um, we've had life, life continues, doesn't it? And the me that I was in November and the me that I am now is just telling the whole story, isn't it? So yeah, I'm quietly marvelling at how far we've come and I've got those little butterflies of like we can do this I can do this HCDC like I can do this so that was November 2023 the backstory and I'll see you in the next one take care